Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome all those who are attending this session. Let me have the privilege to introduce the speaker of the day, Dr. Neelam Sharma, Deputy Dean, Lovely Professional University. She is a doctorate from Punjab University, Chandigarh. She did her MPEV from Himachal Pradesh University, Shimla. Madam holds a diploma in yoga as well. She participated in football at national level, presented eight papers in various conferences, published 19 papers in various journals. I welcome you, Madam. We also have with us the most appropriate person to take up the queries regarding admissions. Ms. Rachna Bajar, Senior Assistant, Lovely Professional University. She is taking up eligibility, scholarship, fee structure, and infrastructure part of the university. Welcome, ma'am. Over to you, Madam Dr. Neelam Sharma. Bluetooth, my email. Please, ma'am, continue your presentation. Over to you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for this nice introduction. So, good afternoon, one and all present here. Uh, I, Dr. Neelam Sharma, uh, Deputy Dean School of Physical Education, W Professional University. Uh, it is uh, my pleasure to have you all here in this uh, interactive session. You know, uh, today's topic was how to become a, a successful sports person. So, you know, I'm also a sports person. When it comes, that topic came into my mind. I know only two things is there to become a sports person. One is build, develop, and refine your skill with guidance of a coach. Okay. And uh, the second thing is there, consider studying related areas like sports study. Okay. So, there is two answer of this question. How to become a successful sports person? One is you have to develop your skill. And the second one is you have to uh, study the area where sports is there. Okay. So, uh, you know, nowadays physical education uh, is normally referred as a science. And uh, the aim of this science is to develop a person physically, mentally, socially, and spiritually. So, uh, it is a multidisciplinary subject, okay, where we are studying various type of subject, okay, and uh, uh, physical education alone is not studied anywhere, okay. That is why it is one of the more demanding profession in the coming era. So, uh, and uh, next one is, okay. So, what is the scope of physical education? Is, 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 is it a gateway to become a sports person? Of course, it is yes. But again, the question comes in our mind. Is there any scope of physical education or only sports person is there? So, I let you know, it is not only that scope, physical education scope is only to become a sports person, but it has a varied scope in this time now. So I have studied so many things, so many articles on this. So uh, there is NAP new educational policy is there. Uh, in this new educational policy 2020, also making mandatory part of school and college curriculum by allocating pro credit uh, for the same. Now after effective impl implementation of NEP 2020, physical education is bound to achieve its long awaited dues. Okay. So earlier we used to think, you know, that uh, if I become a sports person, is there a job opportunities is available? Hum sabke dimaag mein ye question aata hai ki kya main jab physical education mein jaunga ya mere ko to sports mein jana hai, to kya sports career agar kisi wajah se nahi chalta, to kya koi scope hai mere liye? To sports person to, is, is it okay that I can become a sports person? Because physical education, in physical education curriculum, you are going to teach about the areas of sports only. Okay, so 
आपको ये स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन बनने में हेल्प करता है एंड हाउ माय यूनिवर्सिटी इज हेल्पिंग यू आउट दैट इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग बिकॉज वी हैव रिनाउंड कोचेस हियर इन एलपीयू ओके जो मॉर्निंग इवनिंग आपको इफेक्टिवली एक ट्रेनिंग करवाते हैं एंड यू नो दिस फोटोग्राफ बिलोंग्स टू आवर स्टूडेंट मंजू रानी आई एम गोइंग टू एसोसिएट स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन विद जॉब नाउ so manjurani is a sports person you know she is she has been ranked second number in the world uh, world now so uh, as she did her bsc from our department after that now she she got a job in railway okay so she is our uh, student of bsc uh, next one is there are many job opportunities rather than sports person because as i told you that sports person banna means job lena so aapko bahut sare areas mein jo hai wo reservation milti hai if you become a good sports person okay but beside that many opportunities are available and there was one article i let you know Uh, उस आर्टिकल में लिखा गया था इंडिया हैज टू बिकम यंगेस्ट कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड बाय 2025 विद 63 परसेंट ऑफ पॉपुलेशन टू बी यूथ एंड यंग इन इंडिया इज द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स इफ यू हैव एन इन बोर्न पैशन फॉर स्पोर्ट्स देन इट इज द परफेक्ट एंड रिवार्डिंग करियर अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर यू ऑल सो देर आर नंबर ऑफ Uh, prospects available for elite sports person as i told you uh, i have given you an example of manjurani who are already devoted uh, uh, working in a railway uh, and uh, there are many people who are working who are doing their jobs due to the sports okay beside that you know sometime it happens that uh, we want to become a successful person but you know sometimes we think okay i need medal in olympics but you know my participation was there in olympics but uh, i could not uh, become a uh, i could not become a achievement holder so for this i want to let you know if you are pursuing your career if you want to pursue your, your career in physical education to aapko nirash hone ki zarurat nahi hai aapke paas स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन बनने के अलावा आपके पास गवर्नमेंट जॉब जो स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन को मिलती है जो आपको एक रिजर्वेशन मिल जाती है इसके अलावा देर आर गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स आर अवेलेबल आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग योर यूजी एंड बीपीएड प्रोग्राम ओके सो यू कैन गेट गवर्नमेंट जॉब एज अ फिजिकल एजुकेशन टीचर एज अ फिटनेस ट्रेनर एज अ जिम इंस्ट्रक्टर Uh, different personnel you can work as in the navy air force then technical officers you can work sports officers you can become sports good marketers sports good technical experts even sports journalist you can become so there are numerous opportunities available after that you can go for higher study even uh, uh, you can become a entrepreneur okay you know now it's becoming a very current topic in these areas because you know um, every word one you want we come to a job creator now from the job seeker earlier we used to think you know that uh, uh, okay after completing my graduation i'll go for a teaching job or i'll go for army job i'll go for another reserve area jobs but now you can become a job देने वाले आप बन सकते हैं हाउ इट इज हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी में इस तरह के आ, आ, हम बूट कैंप ऑर्गेनाइज करते हैं हमारा अपना एक चैप्टर है जिसको हम ऑर्गेनाइज करते हैं जहां पे बी प्रमोट द स्किल्स फॉर इंटरप्रन्योरशिप अगेन हायर स्टडी ऑप्शन इज ऑलवेज अवेलेबल फॉर यू हेयर इन एल यू यू कैन गो फॉर फर्दर स्टडी यू कैन डू मास्टर इन फिजिकल एजुकेशन you can do phd in physical education so or even higher education jobs are available here in lpu so uh, i want to let you know uh, you might be anxious to know how will the lovely professional university help you to attain these career opportunities okay 
so our curriculum is designed in a such a way uh, which not only guide you about these career opportunities but also help the individual to explore and nurture various component of professionalism by imparting training through sport and help you also increase you to become job creator as we told you in internship apart from this you can proceed higher study as i told you okay now i am very delighted to share with you all because you know sports person banna or usme career ko aage but aap lq mein aana chahte hain but aapko ye janna zaruri hai ki lq ne aaj tak kya kiya so i am very delighted to share with you all the remarkable achievements of our university student recently held in tokyo olympics uh, out of uh, 16 nine scored medal in which javelin thrower neeraj chopra made a history on august 7 2021 by winning india first ever gold medal in athletics at tokyo olympics with best throw of 87.58 meters nishad kumar uh, an indian para olympian and high jumper made a median para olympics game appearance in 2020 tokyo olympics by representing india and went claim and claim silver medal in men's high jump t47 category with a new asian record of 2.06 he is also uh, the students of our university nine players playing in indian hockey team including captain manpreet singh he is from our university rupinder pal singh harman pal singh manpreet singh samsher singh dilpreet singh varun kumar simranjit singh gurjant are from lp a long list of achievers does not end here bajrang punia of our university student also won bronze medal by defeating kazakhstan here is the brief statistics of our school of physical education which i am going to let you know manjurani uh, as i told you earlier uh, so uh, mr jacob you know he is also uh, olympian okay and he has participated in 4 into 400 meter uh, rel relay and he is uh, our student of epl okay then there is uh, uh, krishna fauza she won gold medal in former bench judo then uh, Uh, there is shiv kumar first position he uh, scored uh, first position in judo in common belt geeta gehlot is there ankit narwal is a uh, there okay so we have a long list of uh, uh, achievers here in lpu okay so now i'm going to let you know about the statistics of our school of physical education we established in 2005 and our programs is recognized by nct and job program have been recognized by ministry of ayush here is the brief statistics of uh, 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 our uh, again uh, uh, about our school 150 sports medals we have achieved in national um, level then 10 plus sports medal international sports medal is there in the department then uh, 100 plus government jobs is there 100 plus research publication is there 30 plus students are from outside india okay so next i want to let you know about the uh, ranking of uh, uh, our university so uh, in atal ranking lpu has ranked number 3 in india uh, times higher education impact factor in uh, in global ranking 2021 lpu is ranked among top 200 university globally and second in india which is a great news for you all in nirf ranking 2021 lpu ranked among the top 100 indian universities and colleges in g news ranking you know lpu ranked 11th best university for placement so now next is uh, vision and mission of our university uh, our vision is there creating a center of excellence excellence and innovation for grooming global physical education professionals researchers sports person and sports entrepreneur who can provide professional and social leadership to create sports 
एंड हेल्थ कॉन्सियसनेस हमारे विजन में भी कहीं ना कहीं स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन की बात है और यही आज का टॉपिक था जिसको मैं आपको अपने ये हमारे विजन का भी एक पार्ट है और हमारे मिशन का भी एक पार्ट है Uh, it has been written here in first that learning sports skill for shaping world class physical educationist and sports person to aaj ka jo hamara topic tha wo yahi tha ki hum sports person ke liye kya kar rahe hain to humne bahut sare sports person along kin create kiye hain iske ilawa because it is a part of our vision and mission also okay so we are offering various programs uh, in physical education bsc bps bped mped phd is there now i let you know about the core strength of our department so let me tell you um, that uh, outstanding performance at national and international level we have world class gym all weather swimming pool okay and elaborate infrastructure for all sports renowned coaches are there consistent outcome in Central level exam like NET, SET, uh, JNB, KB, excellent placement record in India and abroad. We also recruit our students in abroad. Industry oriented curriculum to make graduates industry ready. Alumni qualifying UGC, NET, and SET exam here in LP. Uh, next is uh, we are offering specialization because sometime what happens many uh, students they are not sports person but they have interest in sports so to improve their skills we offer specialization in sports like in athletics hockey cricket basketball football handball okay so next one is the glimpse one is the glimpse of uh, our sports in this is our indoor stadium uh, in badminton courts are there uh, this is a you know, basketball outdoor basketball court is there so we okay so hamare hamare paas jo sports ka infrastructure hai wo sari games ke liye available hai indoor bhi hai as well as outdoor bhi available hai next one is uh, we have anatomy and physiology lab here in our department then human performance lab is there health and physical education resource center is there and this is the last is our yoga lab is available these are the few labs which i am showing you in facilities okay otherwise we have a small gym even so uh, many other lab psychology lab is there uh, next one is uh, you know uh, campus recruit recruitment allow a student to earn a safe and secure teacher here is the list of companies who visit regularly for the campus placement drive bharti foundation gold gym is there edu sports is there leap start is there fitness as is there who sports is there cure fit is there uh, cure fit is mainly associated with gym and rest of the companies are associated with the tg uh, again uh, Uh, to uh, we uh, organize we conduct many uh, workshops seminars for our students jahan pe wo international level ke log aur national level ke log bhi uh, un webinars ko mein aate hain aur hamare students ke sath interaction karte hain even uh, we conduct many webinars on, with the olympians means jo uh, elite sports persons hote hain unke sath hum bahut sare webinar jo hai wo organize karte hain beside that you know beyond the curriculum but we do because curriculum is a um, syllabus is there you know uh, your participation at national and international level is there but still hum apne bachcho ke skill ko improve karne ke liye we organize many workshop like ab kis pe karte hain hum workshop organize mainly what we keep in our mind hum dimag mein sirf ye rakhte hain ki latest trends kya hai market mein so keeping that latest trends in my, our mind we organize many workshop like uh, recently we have organized workshop on zumba okay then uh, fitness then ncc then you know uh, there is one more interesting way, uh, workshop we have organized humne best out of waste pe kaise kaam kiya ja sakta hai 
मींस हम कैसे ट्रॉफीज बना सकते हैं जो वेस्ट मटेरियल है उससे ये हमारे बच्चे हैं जिन्होंने ये ट्रॉफीज इन द लास्ट स्लाइड बनाई है तो ये हमारे बच्चों ने ही बनाई है बियॉन्ड दैट बट वी डू वी एक्सपोज आर स्टूडेंट एक्सटर्नली आल्सो वी अलाउ देम टू गो फॉर एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग है ना वो कैसे है जैसे ठीक है आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू यू आर लर्निंग यू आर मेमोराइज द थिंग यू आर जस्ट राइटिंग अ पेपर्स ओके आप उसमें पास हो गए देन यू आर हैप्पी यू नो आई गॉट दिस मार्क्स एंड मैं पास हो गया आई हैव डन माय बी एस सी बट हमारा यही तक लिमिटेड नहीं है हम अपने बच्चों को बाहर का एक्सपीरियंस करवाते हैं ये बच्चा जो है हमारा ये एक हमारे यहाँ पे एक आश्रम है जो ब्लाइंड लोग होते हैं उनका आश्रम है शी वेंट देयर एंड वहां पे जाकर के उनको योग सिखाया इन्होंने तो ऐसी बहुत सारी एक्सपीरियंशियल लर्निंग वी प्रोवाइड फॉर आर स्टूडेंट्स ओके बिसाइड इसके अलावा वी आर स्टूडेंट ऑर्गेनाइज इंटर हॉस्टल कॉम्पिटिशन हेयर इन एल पी यू वी ऑर्गेनाइज एनुअल एथलेटिक मीट ऑफ आर यूनिवर्सिटी और उसमें मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं इसके अलावा आर स्टूडेंट ऑर्गेनाइज मैनी नेशनल एंड many national event like we recently we have organized master athletic meet okay now i'm going to share with you the achievements of our students in research uh dr nidhi uh, published a uh, uh, scale on autism distress behavior mac also published a uh, research aap kabhi bhi jayenge nep कि एक वेबसाइट है जब आप वहां पे जाएंगे कभी आप हमारे इन बच्चों का नाम लिखेंगे यू फाइंड दैट दे हैव पब्लिश्ड द स्केल ओके देन शी हैज पब्लिश सेल्फ रिस्टेन बिहेवियर सेल्फ नॉलेज स्केल ओके डॉक्टर अर्जुन पब्लिश क्रिमिनल प्रोपेंसिटी स्केल ये मैंने फ्यू कुछ अचीवमेंट्स ये आप रखी हैं अदरवाइज देयर आर मेनी मोर ओके नेक्स्ट आर डॉक्टर हरमन प्रीत फॉर शी इज आवर फैकल्टी एंड शी इज अवार्डेड विद एक्सीलेंट रिसर्च अवार्ड by excellency award by institute of scholars our alumni our alumni is are, are proud i'm going to share few achievements of our alumni uh, miss tejender kaur working in dps modern indian school doha qatar rauf ahmed bhat working as a physical director in higher education department of uh, j and k dr arjun working as a physical director government degree college in j and k and same way dr dinesh is also working in next there are other uh, you know uh, i'm going to share other achievements of our student in government sector uh, mr mukesh working as a physical education teacher he is from uttarakhand miss babita she is also working as a physical education teacher and she is again from uh, uttarakhand and uh, mr kanik joshi is working as a assistant professor in very gurukul kangri university then uh, mr jasveer ram he is working as assistant professor here in hoshiarpur punjab mr prakrash is working as a physical education teacher uh, in punjab uh, mr makhan bangar is working as a physical education teacher uh, but iske ilawa mr mandeep singh is working as a patwari in here in punjab uh, harpreet singh she is she is a best sports person handball ki bahut achhi sports person hai she and vanita and both are working as a sub inspector in police uh, miss ugain is working as a lecturer in paro paro college bhutan wo wahan pe work kar rahi hai and uh, iske ilawa kuch aur alumni hain uh, miss mehak uh, working uh, assistant professor in j and k dinesh Uh, Bimal is working as an assistant professor in uh, uh, Jammu University. Balraj PGT Kendriya Vidyalaya. Mahinder Pal working as an assistant director Punjabi University Patiala. Uh, Sandeep is working as an assistant professor Higher Education Department of Punjab. Mr. Navin is working in the Navy. Aruna Rani is working as assistant professor. Uh, Ravi, you know there is a long list now, so I'm not going to uh, share a long list uh, with you all. uh but there are uh, these are the achievements of our alumni alumni and i have a proud proud on my alumni uh, so this is all about the department of uh, our physical education now if you want to check the achievements of our department kindly sign in on facebook
with these links on instagram we are there linkedin and twitter we are available thank you so much thank you so much ma'am it was really really very informative session very wonderful watching you talking on how to become a successful sportsman person scope of physical education career opportunities in physical education achievement school of physical education ranking specializations we offer our recruiters are coming in as you and many more thank you so much for your time and your presentation thank you ma'am next we move on to madam rachna bajaj uh, she is on the screen yes ma'am uh, can you please provide me the screen sharing right sure thank you I hope, ma'am, my screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, just to check, uh, is it moving properly as well? The slides are changing. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. So, good afternoon, everyone. I hope you all are doing fine and safe at your home. So, I'll be just sharing quick facts and figures and giving you a glimpse of the university you might be joining in the coming years or probably this year only. So, first up, we have LPU breaking the record when 13 students of LPU participated in Tokyo Olympics 2020. We had Manpreet Singh as captain of uh, our hockey team. We have Neera Choka as Matt has just shared with you. Further, let's move ahead with the campus life and exposure offer. So as a student, make sure that you enjoy your campus life to the fullest. And if I talk about LPU students, LPU students have got several opportunities to interact with uh, several Nobel laureates, be it at national level or international level. So let's take you uh, towards uh, the few of the events, major events which have been conducted at LPU. First up in the list, we have Indian Science Congress, uh, which was inaugurated by Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi ji at LPU from 3rd Jan to 7th, 7th Jan 2019. Next, we have Nobel Laureate Dalai Lama chairing the fifth convocation at LPU. Then we have former president of India, late Sri Pranam Mukherjee uh, for convocation twice at LPU. Then we had Sri Arun, late Sri Arun Jaitli ji, former uh, union minister for the inauguration of LPU startup school. A very familiar face, a motivational speaker and a life coach, Gaur Bapal Dashi. He interacted with the students and guided them about their lives and other sessions as well, teachings as well. Further, we have the heartthrobs. We had Shah Rukh Khan, we had Deepika Padukone, we had Sonam Kapoor, and several other familiar faces for the promotion of movies. We had MS Dhoni as well in the campus, which is, I suppose, a very familiar face in, amongst the sports uh, audience. So now let's move ahead with the infrastructure where you will be uh, spending your next years, where you will be uh, making memories and uh, interacting and enjoying with your friends and learning from your faculty members. So this is an outside view of our amphitheater. We have around two to three amphitheaters where we conduct several uh, events like Mukkut Natals. We conduct several theater acts and several others. An inside view of our nine-storied central library. I would like to mention that this uh, central library has approximately 20 lakh books, not just in offline mode, but in online mode as well. So this is an inside view of our Shanti Devi Mittal Indoor Stadium being the largest in this region with a capacity of approximately 2,500 audience inside. An outside view of our university mall, my favorite place, I would rather say. This mall has all the basic uh, and necessary facilities. Uh, just only a theater is not available inside the theater. We have several dining areas. We have WX Smith store if you want to proceed for go for any shopping or anything. We have Domino's, courier facilities inside. And apart academics, we also focus on the extracurriculars and fun activities for our students. We have bowling area inside the university hall. An inside view of our gymnasium. So besides this, we also have university hospital, 24 
our facilities are uh, available for our students in case of any emergen emergencies, be it uh, general wards, be it dental facilities, physiotherapy facilities, and so So moving ahead, this is an outside view of our Shanti Devi Mittal Indoor Stadium. This indoor stadium, ma'am, has already shared with you some facts and figures. Uh, there are several sports facilities which are available. We have a proper Olympic level swimming pool, which is an all weather uh, pool. We have around 10 to 12 badminton courts for our students, a shooting area, an outside view of our LPU playgrounds, students playing basketball, volleyball uh, in the indoor stadium and outside uh, playgrounds as well, the roller skating area. A beautiful picture clicked by one of our students and a mesmerizing night view of our campus. So now let's move ahead with the, another aspect of our today's uh, webinar. So I'll be now sharing how you can register for your desired program in whatever program you want to take admission, how you can explore other options and how you can uh, check your fees and scholarship criteria. So what you have to do is just simply visit our website lpu.in. Uh, Ma'am, I hope my screen is visible. The website is visible. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. So just visit our website, which is lpu.in. And on the top here, you will see an icon of admissions. So be it after 12th program, the bachelor's program, whether you want to go for master's program, or whether you want to go for PhD. So just click on that particular program and a new page will open where you will get to see all the programs which are available in our university. So uh, let's say I want to take admission in physical education. Under physical education, we have two programs in bachelor's, which is BSc Health and Physical Education, a three years program. Next, we have bachelor's of physical education and sports, which is again a three years program. So let's say I'm interested in this program. I'll just simply click on this program and all the details related to this will be available right in front of me. On the top here, you can see an icon of apply now. If you have not registered, make sure that you register yourself on immediate basis because the last date to register in this program is 15th April to avail the maximum scholarship benefit. So if I talk about a, a quick uh, eligibility and other details, the eligibility of this program, you need to qualify 12th and help you pet exam. This PET exam is compulsory to appear to take admission in this program. It is named as physical efficiency test. Once you click on this test, a new page will open where you will get to see all the important dates related to this test. As you can see, the last date for Schedule 1 is uh, 19th April to apply for this test and the entrance test and the result dates. Further, moving ahead with uh, the other uh, criteria, so rankings, you can see all the rankings available. You can see the curriculum for next three years. And moving ahead with the important part, the fees and scholarship. Although if I talk about the fees of this program, it is 50,000 per semester. There are total six semesters. But we have several categories on the basis of which you can avail scholarship. So first up in the list, we have scholarships on the basis of your last two qualifications. Let's say if you have scored between 80 to 89.9 percentage in your 10th or 12th, you can directly fall in category 3, that is of 40 percent, which will directly reduce your fees to 30,000 per semester. Let's say if you have scored even better, you have scored between 90 to 94.9 in your 10th or 12th, your scholarship can be reduced to 50 percent and your fees will gradually decrease to 25,000 per semester. And in case if you have scored or if you will score 95% or above in your 10th or 12th, you will be directly eligible for category one. That is of 60% scholarship and your fees will be directly reduced to 20,000 per semester. Let's say if you couldn't avail a better sc any scholarship on the basis of your academics, you can also apply for our LPU NIST exam. It is an MCQ based exam with no negative marking. You can also appear in this exam. The categories are same, 40% scholarship, 50% and 60% on the basis of your performance. Let's say if you even couldn't do uh, this or you want to avail better. So we also have scholarships on the basis of sports, cultural, co-curricular, social service and bravery awards. So in case if you have any recent achievements, make sure that you mail your documents with us, you share your documents on our email ID, which is admissions at the rate lpu.co.in. Besides this, if you have, if you are topper of education board, we also have special scholarship for those students. Again, 
just once your result has been declared, make sure that you share your mark sheets with us so that we can verify it. Last but not the least, we have some financial aids as well. You can share it with your friends and relatives as well. We have financial aid for need based, or uh, if I talk about single girl, child, single mother, uh, and accordingly. We also have scholarship for our uh, defense, uh, retired defense, CAPF, paramilitary personnel, and their dependents. We have financial aid for orphans. We have financial aid to person with certain disability as well. So for whichever category you want to apply for, make sure that you share your uh, details with us. And for detailed information, you can click on any of the uh, category mentioned here. Further, moving ahead with the important dates, as I have mentioned that LPUPET is an important uh, part to take admission in this program because it is an entrance test. But I would also like to mention that provisional admission is somehow the first step to register for this program. And if you want to proceed for provisional admission, this is the last date, 15th April 2022. So just click on the apply now option and you will be good to go. Besides this, if you want to get in touch with us, on the right side of the screen, you can see these icons, a live video counseling uh, option. You can directly get in touch with us. You can get a call scheduled for yourself. You can also get in touch with us through our WhatsApp team as well. And besides this, you can also call us on our toll free helpline numbers. Our team is available from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. In, in the evening. So uh, the last thing I would just wind up with the last important thing. We keep conducting such webinars. We have also conducted such webinars in the past. So if you want to register yourself for our upcoming webinars. So on the same website, LPU.in, on the top, just click on admissions. And on the right side, we have LPU's Edu Fair Work webinars. So once you click on this icon, a new page will open where you, you will get to see all the upcoming and past webinars. So I'll just uh, show you how you can do it. So let's say if I want to register for fashion as a career after 12, which is on 8th April, I'll just click on this icon, register, and again, a new page opens where I just have to fill some of my basic details. That will be my name, my email ID, my first name, my last name, my email address, my phone number, and I'll just click on this dialog box and click on register. And you will receive a mail and you will also receive reminders just prior to the webinar. And for past webinars, once you click on the past webinars, you'll get to see all the webinars which have been conducted now. I hope, Suman Ma'am, I have shared all the details for the students and best wishes to the students for their future now. Um, we are open for any kind of questions. Thank you so much, Ma'am, for the information. Thank you, Ma'am. I would like to request both of the speakers, please be on the screen because we have some queries regarding uh, the admissions and regarding the students. Madam Nilam, am I audible for you? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. So we have one period for you, Madam Rachna. Show some lights on residential facility at LPU. What is the admission process before declared 12 years old? The student wants to know about the admission process, if I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, and there is residential facility. Residential facility. Okay. So, do you, what you can do is I'll just again share my screen. Just simply visit our website, lpu.in, as I mentioned earlier, and click on admissions and proceed for the after 12th or after graduation, whichever program you want to proceed for. Or you can directly visit our uh, registration website, which is admission.lpu.in. So I'll just click here uh, on this. Once you visit this website, you just have to fill your name, email ID, mobile number. You receive an OTP. Uh, fill your uh, state, city, and your last qualification. Let's say my last qualification is 12, and accordingly, all the programs will be uh, visible in front of me. So once you click on the desired programs, click here on the dialog box and register now. 
And the first tip, as I mentioned earlier as well, although the LPU PET exam, the physical efficiency uh, test is compulsory, but make sure that you proceed for your provisional admission first, for which the last date is 15th of April 2022. Once you proceed for your provisional admission, an option to register for LPU PET further will be available right in your admission portal. Here, admission.lp.in. So once you uh, proceed for the registration, after that, you can get in touch with us in case of any queries. And further, if I talk about the residential facilities, uh, just visit our website and on the top, uh, you will get to see uh, some icons. I'll just uh, let you know regarding the hostel as well. Okay, I'll just give you a shortcut. Just uh, go on the search icon and proceed for hostels. And once you search for hostels, on the top, we have residential facilities for students. And once you click here, you'll get to see all the detailed information. We have apartments, we have one seater to six seater hostels as well. We have dormitory facilities as well. So let's say if you want to proceed for standard apartments, the four seater fee structure, three seater, two seater, one seater, all the fee structures will be available right in front of you. The hostel facilities uh, are have all the basic necess uh, necessities. If I talk about the infrastructure, the bedding, the attached washrooms or AC options, cooler options. So whichever option you want to go for, you can just verify from here. We also have mess facilities available inside the campus. You have options. You can go for a four meal option, which includes your breakfast, your lunch, your brunch, your dinner. You can also go for the uh, three meal option, which includes your breakfast, lunch and dinner and several others. So for detailed information, I would recommend you to visit our website, lpu.in or get in touch with our uh, admission uh, team through live video counseling, our uh, tele uh, counselors or through our WhatsApp. I hope I have a brief, give it a, give a brief answer to this. Thank you so much, ma'am. The next question is, what benefits can a student have if he wants to join physical education at LPU. The question is from Raf Sudatra. Nila ma'am, am I audible for you? So can you repeat the question? What, what is the question? Uh, what benefits can a student have if he wants to join physical education at LPU? In L2, what is the benefit to, to join physical education in, in L2? Is it, the, is it the right question, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, I think the students want to know how we are different from um, other universities or other colleges. So, let me tell you, uh, 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 first of all, LPU University is a brand university. As I told you earlier, it is the best uh, university, uh, best two, uh, university in India, as well as in best university in best 200 universities. The second thing, physical education department uh, has many, uh, produced many Olympian. Okay, we have a good placement record. We have a good inf infrastructure. We have a good labs. We have a very good gym. Uh, swimming pool, all weather swimming pool, and you will not find this type of infrastructure and facility uh, in other colleges. The next thing is we have more than 40 coaches. Itta, itne jada coaches, bohat highly qualified faculty, uh, aap logo ko yahan pe LPU mein milegi. That is why it is best uh, physical education institute here in India. Ma'am, Anshul Mehta wants to know, what can I do after doing Bachelor in Physical Education at LPU? What are the career options? Career opportunities, uh, even uh, I have uh, mentioned so many career opportunities uh, uh, for physical education. As I told you that uh, government job is available for the peoples of physical education, okay? Next one, uh, there are many corporative sector uh, where jobs are available, you know, uh, gym is there, okay. Then uh, there are uh, one of our students, she is working in uh, as a fitness trainer in film industry. Uh, she is working with the one actress, uh, 
uh, in uh, Bollywood. So uh, then uh, you can become a sports journalist, okay? Manufacturer, entrepreneur, uh, possibilities of entrepreneurship is available here in LPU. Then private sector jobs is also available as a teacher. Um, maximum our student uh, prefer to become a teacher, okay? So we have a good placement record for this event. Uh, and uh, after that, uh, you can go for higher studies, okay? Uh, because uh, if you complete your graduation BPR and MPR, then uh, in teaching there is a career to become a physical education teacher. But if you complete your master degree, then you can go for uh, the jobs of assistant professor, etc. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, the next question is from Mohinder. Is a national level winner from football? Football. What is the highest scholarship for him? For the national level sports person? Yes, ma'am. So you want to know the sports scholarship policy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, if you are achievement holder for uh, at national level, okay, uh, and your uh, competition is recognized by the government of India, then you will definitely get full scholarship okay means full fee waiver you will get even khana pina rehna bhi usme free milta hai but it need to verify your certificate first otherwise for the national achievement holder that scholarship policy is available i pass this question to madam rachna bajaj yes ma'am can you please uh, repeat it? You want me to uh, proceed with the same question? The level winner from football. He wants he wants to know what is the highest scholarship for him. Okay, a um, man was absolutely. Uh, she has justified to the answer that yes, he is eligible for the maximum scholarship. But yes, we cannot comment on this until or unless we have verified this uh, certificate, because there are uh, several criteria. We have a panel who will be verifying all the certificates. So I would uh, request the student to mail uh, his or her document, uh, the certificates of recent achievement, on our email ID, which is admissions at the rate lpu.co.in, and he will uh, receive a reply uh, within a few days whether he is eligible for that particular scholarship or not. But uh, here I would also like to mention, do not uh, delay your admission process just because you haven't received any uh, reward or you haven't any received any confirmation because the last day to take admission is 15 April. So make sure that you proceed with all the process parallelly. Mail the document today and proceed with all the admission criteria and for the reply for LPU PET as well. And in case if you have any queries, our team is always there, our WhatsApp team. Make sure uh, you connect with us for detailed information or visit our website as well. Thank you so much, ma'am. The last question is for ma'am uh, Dr. Neelam Sharma. How LPU sports and guides to get a better placement? How will be sports and ma'am? Next, what was the line? How LPU sports and guide a student to get a better placement? Ridhi wants okay. to know. Okay, if you want, how we will. Okay, first of all, you know, uh, we have a certain ideas for the better placement. Okay, so uh, we have uh, classes for best placement, and the next one we invite many companies here for recruitment. Okay, so first we work on, uh, we teach you the soft skill. We teach you the sports skills. Okay, then we teach you, uh, we invite the placement companies for placement. So that is why we have a very good record of placement. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you to both the speakers, experts, your years of research your depth of understanding the topic and your ability to present the topic in such an interesting way to produce one of the most wonderful afternoon for all the attendees. On behalf of all the attendees for this webinar, I want to thank you for your insightful presentation. Hopefully, the attendees found this webinar to be valuable and will be able to utilize the information provided in this webinar 
to take better decisions regarding admission. I'm obliged and once again thankful to Dr. Neelam Sharma and Madam Rachna Bajar for standing this platform, signing off for the day. Thank you, ma'am. So much, ma'am.